Welcome to the meditation section of Just Us Friends. I'm glad you're with us. Meditation is a wonderful habit to develop in our lives and in every way it helps us to find balance and stability. It helps us to be healthier, it helps our brain to be healthier and our body to be healthier and invites a harmony between our sense of who we are and our physiology and our neurology. It helps balance all of our um, biochemistry. It is a good thing to do every day. One of the benefits of meditation is that it develops an equanimity in our lives and when an event happens whether small or big it allows us to be with that happening in a way that's not so reactive that we can't be fully present we're not so emotionally reactive so physiologically reactive that, in a sense, we leave the present and go to maybe our past because of incidences that were similar that have happened before, or leaping into the future with fantasies of uh, fear or even greatly enhanced expectations. Equanimity allows us to be present in a balanced and full, complete way. Our deep, true essence is fully aware and present in what's occurring. And you can see that that's a good thing. We have more choices then, we can decide what the next step will be. We can have clarity with what we say and what we do. We can invite any event to turn into an event that will be beneficial for ourselves and for others. So taking time to develop equanimity in our lives is something that helps in, in every way possible. It helps those around us, it helps our children, and it helps create a future that comes from considering options and deciding what will be the best possible step to take in any situation. It's very hard to tell anybody this is how to develop equanimity because there's no intellectual set of instructions. The only way we can do it is just to begin and when an arising occurs, watch, stay balanced, don't react. A very simple experience to develop equanimity is if you're sitting there watching your breath and all of a sudden you have a thought and the thought may be, I didn't get peanut butter when I went to the store this morning. We stay in the meditation. We return to our breath. We watch. We don't jump up off the cushion and jump in the car and race back to the store to get the peanut butter. Equanimity is staying with our breath and watching, jumping up off the cushion and going to get the peanut butter is more like what many of us do when we are reacting to an unfolding in our everyday life. We 
have a thought and we leap to a response. Equanimity is noticing and choosing what to respond to. So let's sit for a minute together and practice equanimity. And little by little, through the years of meditation practice, you will find equanimity growing within you as a natural result of the time you spend on the meditation cushion. And then you will be applying that capacity in your everyday life, which is what our true goal is. So start together with me breathing. Take some time deeping, deepening your breath all the way down into your belly, maybe placing your hands on your belly to feel it rise and fall. Not straining, not effortful breathing. Just breathing as your body tells you to breathe. But breathing into your belly. Let the focus be on the rise and fall of your belly as you breathe. As you breathe, you may well have thoughts arise. Just notice the thought and go back to your breath. Nothing to do, nothing to say. Letting the thought come letting it go. And as you breathe, you may have another experience arise. You may hear a phone ring. You may have a muscle that hurts. You have a choice. You can get up and answer the phone if you choose to. Or you can let it ring. And you can gently move your leg if your knee hurts. Or you can choose to stay still. And either your knee will hurt worse in a minute or the pain will go away. You'll see. When it enters your awareness again, you'll have another opportunity for choice. Return to your breath. 